Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's another episode of Big Cat... Wait, no. No, this is Trailer Park Motorsports. Hey guys, so, good afternoon. I've been looking at doing the virtual switches on the Pro Dash, and the only thing that I was able to find was from the Devin Vanderhoof guy. He was using the virtual switches with the Dominator. Now, that's great, but I don't have Dominator. And I was reading through the, the manual, yeah, read the manual, read the instructions. And it has the outputs on the back of the connector for solid state relays, as well as switched 12 volt and switched ground. So I was thinking, can I use this guy? Now, I'm sure you've all seen it before. Rye talked about the MSD solid state relay, four bank solid state relay through Holly. Now, the, the nice folks at Holly sent it to me after I paid them like 150 bucks. Uh, not sponsored, but if you guys want to talk. Anyways, um, I'm not going to go over too much of the detail. I'll just drop a link up here to Rise channel and clapped out where he did it. So, let's go ahead and get you started. What's the worst that happens? So, as you can see, reading through the manual, page 13, Right here is, where is it? It's SSR, a ground switched output suitable for triggering relays and the vices that blow, draw below at one and a half amps each. My thought was if I can get this to work, I can replace this ugly switch panel with the virtual switches on the Pro Dash. So what we're gonna try inputs for the solid state output on pins three to that solid state relay and if it works to switch on and off my trans cooler fan then we're going to go ahead and use four five and six for the solid state relays one two three four to do the other items that are on the switch panel so let's go ahead and give it a try Okay, so I went ahead, gave it a try, and a proof of concept, here it is. You know, had to, had to throw in some freedom on there. My trans cooler fan, hit it on, hit it off. You can hear it whirly whirl. All right, so everything's in here a little bit sloppy right now, but I didn't want to spend too much time if this thing didn't work for whatever crazy reason. We're gonna go ahead and tidy this up now. Okay, so. After testing it, I got it all wired up, and I'm going to show you all how I did it. I used inputs 3, 4, 5, and 6, which is solid state relays 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then, pull the dash out, unhook the, the connector, just like I showed in those other videos of mine about how to wire up the dash. I used pins 3, 4, 5, and 6 that on that top row. The ground side is going straight to the chassis ground. And then, again, this is an 89 Camaro, so I pulled up the 89 Camaro or F body wiring. And I used this circuit breaker right here, this 35 amp for the power windows. Now, my car has manual windows, so that's no big loss. After wiring everything up and testing it out, I went up back in the house, picked up another glass of apple crown and we'll go over real quick the switches and how to set them up so here we are I have just like my old switch panel I have the trans cooler fan the trans brake arm the wastegate so I can run on I need to change it from wastegate to boost controller I can have it run on wastegate only, which will give me about seven pounds of boost, or turn that on and I can, right now I'm on a two bar map sensor, so I can run up to 14 pounds on the, the boost controller. And then I have my 12 volt outlets on another switch. So to configure it, go into configuration. Click on dash configuration, scroll down until you see F 
SSR 1 through 4 and turn them from disabled to SSR out or solid state relay output. Click on OK. OK. Then go to customize. You're about to fuck shit up. Yes. Then click anywhere on the background. We got Mr. Bald Eagle there. Add, switch. Okay. You pick one of these four that you just enabled. Call it something. The style, you can have a slider. I used rocker for those, but you can have whatever, you know, you want. Once you're done with that, I picked inactive label color as black, and then I checked the active label as whatever. That's it. Then, we're going to delete that shit. Named everything. We're going to discard those changes because we didn't do anything. Then you just touch it, trans cooler comes on, put the trans brake on, hit the button on the steering wheel, trans brake arm is off, wastegate or boost controllers on or the outlets. That's all there is to it. And then the better part, I can flip to that and flip back over to my regular screen for driving. Once trans is back down or whatever, I just flip the switch back off. That's all there was to it. Just that easy. All right, so that's going to wrap up the adventures in the garage tonight. Hopefully, if you guys were wondering how, if you could do it without a dominator, as I was, you picked something up from this. But, I mean, that's it.